Hello, boys and girls. Today we are going to talk about animal armor. We're going to learn about animals with shells, scales, and spikes. So already I think of that word armor, I think of like a knight in, in armor, and I know that a, a knight would wear armor to protect them. So that's what I'm thinking that this nonfiction text is going to be about. And while we're reading it, we're gonna be using our reading voice and our thinking voice. Let's get started. These lions are hungry. They want to eat this porcupine, but they know to beware the porcupine has body armor. What makes that porcupine dangerous for those lions to eat? Yes, those spikes, or they're called spines. Some animals have spines, others have hard shells, and some have thick, bumpy skin. Body armor helps keep animals safe. Sharp spines. Would you want to touch these animals? Probably not. Each spine is sharp and pointy. Spines tell a predator to back off. Sharp spines are painful. So it does, it protects them. And a predator is an animal that hunts and eats other animals. This is called a saddleback moth caterpillar right here. This is called a spiny bush cricket. And this is a spiny orb weaver. Those are all new types of animals for me. Those are very interesting. Lots of animals have spines. A lionfish has special ones. The spines have venom. If a predator tries to eat the lionfish, venom will enter the predator's skin. So a venom, boys and girls, is a liquid that some animals make that kills or harms other animals. And I know that a snake, I've heard a snake producing venom, but also this lionfish over here. Very interesting. See how I'm using my reading and my thinking voice? Stay away from a porcupine. Its sharp spines are called quills. They shake and rattle when danger is near. The quills can stick into an enemy. Ouch! And um, if you, this is called an old world porcupine. That's interesting. I didn't know that that was such a thing either. And if you look over here, right here, these quills from an old world porcupine have fallen out. Oh, I don't know if you noticed up here, but there's like jokes, I think. It says, what do porcupines say when they hug? Ouch is the answer. Strong shells. A shell is another kind of armor. It protects an animal's soft body. Snails and clams can pull their bodies inside their shells. They can't move quickly, but they can hide. Many turtles can do this too. They pull their legs and head inside. A turtle has an upper shell and a lower shell. Both shells are hard and they grow with the turtle. The turtle's body is attached to the shell. Okay, uh, this is an interesting thing down here that I'm gonna use my reading voice for. Did you know a turtle can feel when its shell is touched? Hmm, I haven't thought about that before because it's so hard that I would think that you wouldn't, that the turtle wouldn't be able to tell, but it can, interesting. Other animals have a hard covering over their whole body, even their legs. And if, you, oh my goodness, these are called Christmas Island red crabs. I've I never heard about those before, so cool. This kind of shell doesn't grow. When the animal grows, its shell gets too small. The animal sheds the old scale, shell. Then it makes a new one. This is called molting. And here's six cool facts about animal armor. If we look at number one, many people think porcupines shoot their quills. They don't. 
Some porcupines have quills that come off when a predator touches them. You know, I did think that a porcupine would shoot their quills. So that's something new that I learned. A puffer fish has spines that lie flat, but it can swallow water to make its spine stick out. Oh, that's interesting. So they swallow water to make themselves pointy like this. M number three, many animals with body armor move slowly. The armor protects them when they can't get away from predators. Number four, all birds have scales on their toes. Oh, wow, if these are an eagle's toes, then it's really scaly. That's really interesting. A giant clam can be four feet long and weigh as much as three adult men, up to 500 pounds. That is huge. If you think of like three grown up men, and that is how much a clam can weigh. And number six, oh, this is absolutely adorable, but I don't know if I'd want to touch him. A hedgehog has spines on its head and back. When it rolls into a ball, its soft face and belly stay, stay safe from predators. Super scales. When you think about reptiles, do you think of scales? Scales are small, hard plates on the skin. Lizards, crocodiles, turtles, and snakes have them. Scales protect their skin. And a reptile is an animal with scaly skin, but it doesn't make its own body heat. It lies in the sun to get warm, and when it's too hot, it goes to the shade. Our body temperature, like humans, stays the same, unless we have a fever, of course. Reptiles aren't the only animals with scales. Fish and a few mammals have them too. The pangolin is a mammal with a thick, sharp, with thick, sharp scales. It can roll into a ball. This makes it hard for predators to eat. So it rolls into a ball for protection. And a mammal, boys and girls, is an animal that feeds its babies milk and it keeps our temperature the same temperature, their bodies the same temperature. Scales don't only make the skin tough, they also keep an animal from drying out. In hot areas, water is hard to find. Animals with scales need less water to live. Scales have color. They form patterns too. This helps an animal hide from its enemies. Can you find the animals hiding here? Oh, I think I might see this eye right here. Armor all around. Lots of animals have body armor that helps keep them safe. If you could have armor, what kind would you choose? I think I might choose the spikes, the spines or the quills for myself. <laughs> what in the world? These pictures show up close views of animals with body armor. Use the hints to figure out what's in the picture. Answers are on page 31. All right, I'll give you a minute to look at that. Okay. Well, thanks for listening today, and I hope you enjoyed this nonfiction book on animal armor. There are animals all around us, and it's important to think about these animals and how they keep themselves safe. All right, have a great day.